Hello there, everyone. My name is Crazy Caleb, and today we're going to be taking a look at getting funky. So this is the way the module looks. It's got a left and right arrow, a speaker, and a little button that we can toggle here. So, and when we press this, when we press this little button here, we're going to have a little set of four to seven moves from Cha Cha Slide by DJ Capsule. And what we're going to be doing is, based off of these numbers here, we're going to move around in a grid, um, or in, in these tables rather, and we're going to submit these submit the answers that we get in binary. So let's figure out how we actually get there. So uh, we need to find our starting cell in one of the two tables below. And the starting position is the cell that uh, corresponds with the two-digit number formed by the first and second digit of the serial number. Let's take a look here. So the first and second digit is 5 and then 8. So let's find 5, 8. Uh, and it's right here. Now, normally, we would be able to find a cell, and that would be what we're looking at here. However, in, many, in some cases where you can't find a cell, what we must do is... Um, to figure out what table we're going to be looking at for this, we're going to move. We're, we're going to figure out if we need to look at the left table based off of the RJ port, if there isn't, if there is one present, and the right table otherwise. And what we need to do is we need to count a number of cells in reading order, starting from top left, count it as zero, uh, in the table, um, which is equal to the sum of the serial number digits. And we determine our table from left to right based off of the RJ45 port. And if the sum happens to be 36, which in this case happens to be um, four digits and two letters present. And all of those digits are nine. We're simply going to use the top left as our starting cell. So let's actually get our read um, from the module here. And remember, there could be four to seven possible moves, so we could have quite a bit here. Two hops this time. Left foot, left stomp. Slide to the left. Cha cha now, y'all. Left foot, two stomp. To the right now. Back to two hops. Two hops this time. Left foot, left stomp. Slide to the left. Cha-cha now, y'all. Left foot two stomp. To the right now. To the right now. I kind of condensed some of the little instructions that we had here, but here are our instructions that we're going to be taking a look at. So we have uh, two hops this time, two hops this time, uh, and there can be multiple, um, multiple sayings that, multiple slangs that, uh, mean the exact same thing. For example, two hops this time, or two hops, two hops, uh, means move up two cells. And that's what we're going to be doing for our first instruction. So for two hops this time, we're going to move up two. So one, two, to 22. Next up, left foot, left stomp. Uh, left foot, left stomp wants us to move, um, wants us to go to the cell in the same position in the other table, then move left one cell. So we're going to go to the position in the other table, in this case, corresponding to alpha two, which is 68. And then we're going to want to move left one cell, wrapping around to 90 in this case. Uh, the cells do wrap around um, unless stated otherwise. For the, for example, the Charlie Brown rule. Hopefully, I'll get into that later. Um, they will simply loop around for their corresponding table. And let me actually zoom into this real quick because uh, sometimes the, the manual is a little bit weird with um, the way that it is formatted. Uh, so normally, it would be simply just looking at this table. You loop around there respectively, but in some cases, it can loop around to another table. So let's pay attention to that. So next up, we have a slide to the left. A slide to the left from 90 is we're going to move left three cells. So one, two, and three to 53. Next rule is going to be cha-cha. Cha-cha uh, now, y'all. And then what cha-cha now, y'all, this is one of the more weirder ones, is it wants us to turn 90 degrees counterclockwise from the last direction we moved. And if this happens to be the first move, then we'll treat this the last direction as left. And then we're going to move one cell in that direction. So our last move was we, we moved left three times. So we move the direction of left. So left and moving, now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to turn 90 degrees counterclockwise from left. Left will take us to down and then move in that one direction to get to our funny number. So next up, um, left foot two stomps. Left foot two stomps will be right over here. Uh, left foot two stomps, similar to left, left foot let stomp. We're going to go to the cell in the same position in the other table. Then we're simply going to move left two cells. So at Charlie 3, we're going to move over to 77. And then we're going to move left twice to 73. And then for our last move, we're going to move to the right now. And to the right now wants us to do uh, move right one cell. And leaving us with a final cell of 57. So now, now that we have our final answer here for 57... Uh, for what we have here, so after all of these instructions, we got to 57. What we need to do is we need to submit this answer in binary. So let's convert this all into um, binary. And for those of you who don't know your powers, um, to the, uh, 2 to the power of 6, it has to be 7-digit long binary number, which in this case is what it's going to be. 
Um, so 0 to the power of 6 for, for the power of 2, um, going from left to right, is going to be 64, then 32, then 16, then 8, then 4, then 2, then 1. 2 to the power of 0 is 1, then to the power of 1 is 2, then 4, then 8, and as you can see, it's multiplying by 2 each and every single time, so it's doubling in value, and that's the way the module works. And the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to start with 57, and if this number can be subtracted, um, if one of these numbers can be subtracted from 57, I'm going to simply mark that with a 1, otherwise I'm going to mark it with a 0. So 64 cannot be subtracted from 57 before going negative, 32 can, giving us 25, so that's 1. 16 can be subtracted from 25, giving us 9. Uh, uh, excuse me, uh, that's going to be 1. Uh, 8 can be subtracted, giving us 1. And then in this case, it's going to be minus uh, plus 1, minus 8 in this case. And, and in this case, we cannot subtract 4 or 2, and we can subtract 1 in this case. And this is the binary number that we're going to submit. So the way how binary works in this in submitting is each one in the binary number will correspond to the left, and each zero will correspond to a right. So we're going to input these left and rights, and they always have to be seven digits long. For example, the 64 um, is a zero to start off with. We still have to input that into the module. So let's take a look here. So we're going to move, um, remember, right being, um, right being zero, left being one. Let's input that into the module. So we have right, left, left, left. Right, right, and then left. Let's go to work. Now, uh, the way that inputting works, and just like that as a solve module, uh, if, for example, I happen to press left in this first uh, in the first answer here, it would immediately give me a strike, uh, but it would not reset. So, let's take a look at another example. Now, I want to go over each of the uh, individual rules present in each of these because some of them are a little bit weirder uh, than normal, but most of them are pretty straightforward. So, to the left, to the left, or left foot now, y'all is going to be moving left one cell. Slide to the left is moving left three cells. Uh, take it back now, y'all, is going to be moving down one cell. Uh, hands on your knees, hands on your knees is moving down two cells. Uh, to the right now, or right foot now, is, is moving right one cell, as you would expect. Uh, moving right three cells is going to be sliding to the right. Uh, one hop this time, or one hop, is moving up one cell. Uh, two hops this time, or two hops, two hops, is moving up two cells. Uh, five hops this time is moving up five cells. Um, and then right foot let stomp, we covered before. Uh, right foot two stomps, left foot let, uh, left foot let stomp, and let, left foot two stomps. Uh, we're going to go to the cell in the other table, and then move right one cell, right two cells, and then left one cell, left two cells, respectively. Then turn it out is simply the opposite of cha-cha now, y'all, where basically, instead of turning 90 degrees counterclockwise, you're certainly turning 90 degrees clockwise from the last direction we move. So uh, if it was left being our last direction that we moved, 90 degrees clockwise would take us up. In this case, now that would be what we moved. We would turn 90 degrees clockwise uh, and then move one direction in that cell. Now we're going to go into some of the more interesting rules in this case. Um, reverse reverse simply undoes the previous move that we had before, and it has no effect if this is the first move. Next up, freeze ignores the next move, so and, and it has no effect if it's the last move. Crisscross moves diagonally to the uh, moves to the diagonal adjacent cell with the highest number. So let's take a look at this um, 69, for example. The diagonal adjacent cells in this case correspond to 67, 44, 94, and 00. The cell with the highest number is 94, and that would be the direction that it moves right there. Now it is important to note that if you happen to get a uh, crisscross or any form of adjacent cell that it asks for. Um, it simply corresponds to, if, if it was crisscross diagonally, it would be simply only 0, 8 from 78. And if it was adjacent orthogonally, it would only be 95 and 90. It, the, the way that adjacent cells loop around, um, it, the way that adjacent cells work is they do not loop around. That's what I mean. Uh, so in this case, you would only be looking between these two if it was in a corner. And the same thing applies for the rest of these guys. So just make sure that you understand that because that is a very tricky concept to um, that that stumps people up most of the time, and it doesn't it doesn't mention it, but the way that it it should be pretty obvious when you know going off into the void does not lead back to here. That does not mean it's adjacent. So next up, everybody clap your hands or clap 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 your hands. Uh, we'll simply move to the uh, orthogonally adjacent cell with the lowest number. So similar to what I was mentioning here. Um, 
if we look at 84, we'd be looking at these four guys. Whichever one has the lowest, as it says here, the lowest number, we'll be moving up to 08. And from here, between these two, the lowest number would be 90. And lastly, one of the more confusing rules is Charlie Brown. So based off of the position of which you get this instruction from, uh, you're going to move down X amount of cells, where X is the index of the move, as I mentioned before. So we're going to move down 1, move down 2. So for example, if we started at 94, for example, and if it happened to be the third move, for example, Charlie Brown, as I would mention here. If we were to move down three cells, we would simply not do it like this. We would simply go 1, 2, 3, normally to 36. However, uh, but if you go off of a table, loop to the top of the other table. So the way that this works is it's going to go down one, two, and then over to the other table, three. Since it's in the same column, we're simply looping around over here. That's probably the most, that's probably the weirdest rule of them all, and it's one of the rarer ones that you will see, but it is a lot of reading that you have to do for it. So just make sure that you read that specifically. Most of the rules are pretty straightforward. Um, let's take a look at another example. So let's see what we get. Charlie Brown. Charlie Charlie Brown. Two laps this time. To the right now. Reverse. Reverse. Left foot. Left stop. Cha-cha now, y'all. Uh, left foot stop. And then cha-cha. Make sure I got all of that right. Charlie Brown. Yeah. Two hops this time. Down. To the right, right. now. Reverse. 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 Left foot. Left stop. Cha-cha now, y'all. All right. So now taking a look at the serial number once again. Uh, we have um, our first two digits is six and four. Let's see if we can find that on here. Six and four is indeed present. So now let's, pro let's proceed to do this normally. So Charlie Brown, as we mentioned before, we're gonna move down X amount of cells where X is the index of the move in the set. And the first move in this case equals one. So it isn't in in indeed the first move in the set. So we're gonna move down one cell. So 64 to 86, simple as that. So now two hops, uh, two hops this time which is going to be right here, we're going to move up two cells. So one, two to 75. Then to the right now, but before we actually get, get into this, the next rule that we're going to be taking a look at is reverse. And as we mentioned before, we're going to undo the previous move. So we're actually not going to be doing two, uh, to the right. Um, in this case, to the right now, though, we'd be moving right one cell. So we're simply going to reverse that. Next up, left foot, uh, left foot, let's stomp. That's one stomp. So left foot, let's stomp. We're going to go to the cell in the same position in the other table, then move left one cell. So to 0, 8, then moving left to 44. That's the way that this works. And then finally, cha-cha now here. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn 90 degrees counterclockwise uh, from the last direction moved. So we move with left um, last time. So 90 degrees counterclockwise is going to take us to down. And then we're going to move one direction in that cell. So our answer for this, for this module is going to be 29. Let's convert this guy into binary. So remember the powers of six, of hours of two being 64, 32, 16, um, eight, four, two, and one. Let's figure out what can and can't go into 29. So uh, obviously 64 and 32 both will not be able to go into 29. Uh, 16 uh, will be able to go into 29. So 29 minus 16 is 13, marking that as a one. Uh, eight is able to go into 13. Uh, yep, so that's gonna be marked as a one. Uh, four can go into five. Uh, modulo minus, minus four from this is going to be one. Zero cannot go into uh, two cannot go into one, so it's going to be marked with a zero. And one can go into one, and there we go. And this is the binary number that we're going to be looking at, and this is what we're going to submit to the module. So let's take a look here. So remember, left being uh, one and right being zero. Let's turn it. Let's turn it in. So remember what I mentioned before. Um, as I said before, if you it will let you know immediately if you have a wrong answer. So if we were to submit left on this first input, no, I can't accept. I'm out of here, y'all. It would give us a strike and saying I'm out of here, y'all. So let's submit uh, 29 into the module correctly. So we're gonna go right, right, then left, 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 and right, then left. Let's go to work. And just like that is a solved module. Note that the uh, actual sequence does not change at all. It just simply resets the input. Let's take a look at one final example. We actually have gotten a lot of good uh, cases, so let's take a look here. So, reverse, right foot now. Take it back now, y'all. Take it back now, y'all. Okay. So our first move. Uh, let's actually figure out where we are on the grid. So on the grid, we have five and eight, five eight. 
five eight is present, so we don't have to worry about the uh, the sum of the serial number digits and the RJ port. Let's continue on. So let's take a look here. So we have reverse. However, reverse, as we, as remember mentioning, we have to undo the previous move, and it has no effect if this is the first move. So we're simply just going to ignore the reverse. The reverse does nothing for us in this case, unfortunately. Then uh, right foot now. Uh, right foot now is moving right one cell. So we're going to move right to the 25. And then we're going to do two take it backs. Uh, take it back now, y'all, is going to be moving down one cell twice. So we're going to move down one and then one. And then 21 will be our final answer. Right, anyone? So 21 in binary in this case. And you can get simple uh, simple uh, solutions like these. For example, um, four. We had four flat, four moves. So really simple stuff. So remembering our base, remembering our powers of 2, 64, 32, um, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. 64 cannot go into 21. Uh, 32 cannot go into 21. 16 can go into 21. 21 minus 16 is going to leave us with 5. Uh, and in this case, as you can obviously tell, it's going to be 4 and 1 that will go back in there. So that'll be 0 for 8, 1 for 4, 0 for 2, and then 1 for 1. And to make sure, 16 plus 4 plus 1 gives us 21. And this is what we're going to submit into the module. So uh, each uh, one represents left, and each zero represents right. So we're going to go right, right, left, right, left, right, and left. And just like that is a solved module. And we're going to go to work. And just like that, my name is Crazy Caleb. Stay crazy, stay cool, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye <laughs>